In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about imports and the effects of tariffs. We start with the supply and demand, and that's the price. That's the domestic price. That's the quantity. Now, if a country begins to import, and it receives an import price there below domestic price, quantity demanded is there, and domestic quantity supplied is there. Imports are measured there, which is quantity demanded minus domestic quantity supplied. Now before imports, this is the level of consumer surplus, and this is the level of producer surplus. After imports, producer surplus shrinks. In fact, it shrinks to that level right there, much less than before, because they're producing much less, obviously, because of the imports. Since consumers see a much lower price, consumer surplus increases to that level there. The box outlined by the silver trapezoid, actually, is the increase in consumer surplus. The area outlined by the yellow box, or the triangle, is lost producer surplus. That area there. Decrease in producer surplus. If the government imposes a tariff of, let's say, that level, there's a new price, which is the import price plus the tariff. Let me fade away a change and put some symbols in. I'm going to pick that quantity demand QD and quantity supplied Q sub S. The import price tariff with quantity demand is there and also the quantity supplied is there with the tariff. Initially that's the producer surplus before imports. After imports it falls dramatically and the tariff causes producer surplus to rise which is exactly what the government wanted. Producers benefit. Initially, this is consumer surplus. After imports, it grows dramatically because of the lower price. But the tariff causes some consumer surplus to be lost. This black box, actually it's a trapezoid, is lost consumer surplus because of the tariff. Keep in mind the, that measures imports, and this is the level of domestic supply. That's marked right there. Let me fade some of this out so you can see a little bit better. So now, there's going to be revenue from the tariff. And it's going to be outlined, that box right there, the tariff revenue is the brown box. The silver or gray box is dead weight loss. It was transferred to nothing. And also the silver triangle there is another area of dead weight loss. It wasn't transferred to anybody. Now in a second, I'm going to switch to numbers to redo this whole thing with numbers. Here we go. So the tariff in this case is $15. I'm going to fade away some of this stuff so you can see a little easier. Now, if I wanted to measure the lost consumer surplus, it's that trapezoid right there, lost consumer surplus. I take the area of the rectangle, outlined by the gold, or the lemon color, I guess. It's base times height, which is $15, and the base is $650. So it's $650 times 15 is equal to $9,750. The triangle, outlined right there, is base times height times one half. The base is 200, the height is 15, so it's 200 times 15, and that equals to, oh, times a half, and that equals to $1,500. Now we take this $1,500 and we add it to $9,750 for a grand total of 11,250 and that's the area of the trapezoid and that's lost consumer surplus. Now I can calculate a few other things and the first thing I'm going to calculate is the increase in producer surplus which is that trapezoid the pink trapezoid. I take the area of that little rectangle which is 100 times 15 which is 1,500 1,500 dollars then I take the area of the triangle, which is 200 times 15 times a half, which is 1,500 again, or $1,500. So the 1,500 plus 1,500 combined is the producer surplus, increase in producer surplus. The tax revenues is 350, which is also the imports, how much is imported, times 15, which is the tariff, 
So that's 350 times 15 is equal to 5,250. And that's total from that's revenue to the government from the tariff. Now the gray area is dead weight loss. And the first triangle is 15 times 200, 200 times 15 times 1 half is equal to 1,500. And the other triangle, other dead weight triangle, is the same as before, and that's another $1,500. So if we add all this up, it should add up to $11,250, which is equal to the lost consumer surplus. The increase in producer surplus is a transfer from consumer surplus. The tax revenues were also transferred from consumer surplus and dead weight loss. Increase in producer surplus is a transfer. Tax revenues is also a transfer from consumer surplus. But dead weight loss is a loss to society. All this adds up to $11,250, and this is lost consumer surplus because of the tariff. To review quickly, that is consumer surplus, that's producer surplus. We added an import price, producer surplus shrunk. Consumer surplus increased dramatically. The government imposed a tariff. Consumer surplus shrunk. Producer surplus increased. That's the tax revenue. And the gray area is dead weight lost to society. And this is imports and effects of tariffs.